स्वच्छ भारत का इरादा इरादा कर लिया हमने देश से अपने वादा ये वादा कर लिया हमने स्वच्छ भारत का इरादा इरादा कर लिया हमने देश से अपने वादा ये वादा कर लिया हमने plan to establish justice not only as a spiritual teaching but justice in the society should be as a social teaching the whole society the structure of society the organization of society need justice everybody should be just in social life in personal life in family life they should be justice everywhere everywhere everybody should be just doing justice so that was the rule established through this book revealed book this is the revealed book then 2500 years ago another message appeared in the pure soul of buddha that was tripatak was the book which was revealed to him and he taught equality samyagyan all are equal in the sight of god the the prevalent was upper caste lower caste middle caste lowest caste he said god has created the whole humanity equal nobody is upper caste nobody is middle caste nobody is the lower caste nobody is the lower caste this caste system was created out of ignorance that to by men not by god and that is against the teachings of god all are equal in the sight of god if there is a caste system the society will be divided into parts and fragments the social structure will weaken so god sent the message to the pure soul of buddha to spread this word of samyagyan that is of samatha they know the teachings of buddha they are the teachings of creator himself it is not the teaching of krishna it is the teaching of god anything that is sent by god is not for hindus not for buddhist not for christians or for muslims it is for the whole of humanity because this is being sent by the creator of this do all these books have been revealed by god god will never reveal anything for a particular class of people he reveals anything for particular class of people if anybody reveals it he cannot be god if he is a god he will reveal everything for the whole of humanity bible is for the whole of humanity tripatak is for the whole of humanity gita is for whole of humanity quran is for the whole of humanity they are not for a particular class of people how unfortunate it is how ignorant it is to consider these books are meant for a particular class of people can they be for god's book either they are for the whole of humanity and if they are not for humanity they are not from god so these teachings have been revealed it is through a dove a bird godly bird that the message of bible came to jesus so this message has come from god to consider it for christians it is ignorance then again 
400 years ago and the message appeared in the pure soul of Muhammad that was the Holy Quran Holy Quran says Khuda is Rabbul Alameen He is the creator of the universe He is the beginning and the end of all knowledge He is the one who has created this globe the one who has created the humanity all are his children they are all like brothers and sisters because they are all creations of one god ek khuda hai ek allah ki sultan ek allah ne sabko banaya ek khuda ne sabko banaya sab bhai bhai hai khuda is rabbul alamin he is not the rabb of muslimin wo muslimano ka rabb nahi hai wo alamin ka rabb hai He is the Rabbul Alamin. He is the God of the whole of universe, not a Muslim. It is how unfortunate it is. Many people think Quran is for Muslims. How come? It can be only for the Muslims. If it is only for the Muslims, it cannot be from God. It cannot be from Allah. But they call him, call him God. or allah or ishwar whatever you call him or bhagwan he is one he has not kept his name he has no mother father he has never been created he will never die he has no mother father who will keep his name people realize in this world there is some power within this world which we cannot see and they realize okay, let us pray him. to pray god they thought that we should keep a name that will become easier so those who knew english they kept the name as god those who knew urdu they kept the name allah those who knew arabic they kept his name as rab or rabul al those who knew hindi they kept his name as bhagwan ishwar parmatma in there are thousands and thousands of languages in the world in every language the people knowing the language have have kept their name kept his name in german in french in russian in spanish in every language there is a different name these names are not being put by anybody by the people knowing that language they have kept a name for example somebody calls it water somebody calls it jal somebody calls it pani somebody calls it aab but the thing is the same so god is the same god is only one God is only potent. God is only one. He has sent these books. All the books have been revealed by God. So, dear children, you must understand the Holy Quran came for one thousand four hundred years ago to the pure soul of Muhammad, and uh, the message of Quran is brotherhood. We are all brothers and sisters. the whole humanity and then 550 years ago and the message appeared in the pure soul of nanak and there was a message of true sacrifice sacha soda sacha soda means true sacrifice sacrifice for others that was the message it came 550 550 fifty years ago 550 years ago and again 200 years ago and the message appeared the pure soul of bahola and the message that of kitab e aqdas and his picture is not available so i put the picture of abdul baha his son who was the interpreter of the teachings of his father bahola and the main teaching of kitab e aqdas is unity of heart oh my god oh my god unite the hearts of thy servants and reveal to them the great purpose may they follow thy commandments and abide in thy law help them o god 
in their endeavor and grant them strength to serve thee. O God, lead them not to themselves, but guide their steps by the light of their knowledge and cheer their hearts by their love. Verily, thou art the helper and their Lord. So, unite the hearts to dear children. 5,000 years ago, God sent a message for the people through Krishna, through Bhagavad Gita, be just in life. 2,500 years ago, God sent another message to be equal to everybody, consider equal. Don't consider anybody lower or per caste. And then God sent another 2,000 years ago the message to the people of the world, be compassionate, be kind to each other. And again, 1,400 years ago, God, the same God sent the message to the people of the world to be brothers, treat each other like brothers and sisters. And again, 550 years ago, God sent another teaching to the mankind through Nanak, and that was sacrifice for each other. And then again, 200 years ago, God sent another message in the form of a kitab to unite the hearts. The hearts of mother and father, the hearts of husband and wife, hearts of brother and sisters, hearts of the family members should be united. Baha'u'llah said, all the hearts should be united. In a family, all people should unite. So there will be a kingdom of God on earth in that family. There will be peace in the family. There will be happiness in the family. There will be success in the family. There will be prosperity in the family. Every member of that family will shine and will make progress if the whole family is united. That is what Baha'u'llah says. All the families all over the world should be united. This is not the message only for the Baha'is. This is the message for the whole of humanity. O oh, people of the world, unite yourself. If there is family unity, there will be peace and happiness and prosperity in the family and success. And if the people of the mohalla or locality or a village are united, there will be peace, prosperity and happiness and success to every member of their community. If the hearts of the people are united in a state or a country, there will be happiness and peace in that country. If the hearts of the people of the whole world are united, there will be peace, prosperity and happiness and in all the world for everybody. So Baha'u'llah says unity. So what we need today, we need to know God means know the teachings of God. I bear witness to my God. This is the prayer. I bear witness, O oh my God, that Thou hast created me to know Thee and to worship Thee. Know Thee and worship. Know means know your teachings. These are the teachings. Know these teachings. And obey these teachings is the worship of God. The only way to worship God is to obey. Be just. Consider everybody as equal. Be compassionate. Consider everybody as brother or sister. Own brother or sister. Own. Then sacrifice for each other. And unite your hearts. Yeh the City Montessori School ke sansthapak prabandhak evam prakhyat shikshavit Dr. Jagdish Gandhi. Jinka manna hai aaj मानव जाति को जय जगत के नारे को बुलंद करने की आवश्यकता है तथा विश्व में वास्तविक शांति लाने के लिए बच्चे ही सबसे सशक्त माध्यम हैं। डॉक्टर गांधी द्वारा शिक्षाप्रद आध्यात्मिक बातें इन प्रतिष्ठित चैनलों द्वारा नित्य प्रसारित की जाती हैं तथा रोजाना उनके विचार सी एम एस एफ एम रेडियो नब्बे दशमलव चार भी प्रसारित किए जाते हैं छात्रों शिक्षकों व अभिभावकों के मार्गदर्शन हेतु डॉक्टर जगदीश गांधी द्वारा लिखित पुस्तकें साहित्य भारती इंटरनेशनल न्यूमन ग्रुप 4C अंसारी रोड दरियागंज नई दिल्ली एक एक शून्य 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 दो 
से प्राप्त की जा सकती है To heal the world with the power of Jai Jagat, City Montessori School since 1959 has been actively working to construct the defenses of peace in the minds of students, for which CMS in the year 2002 was awarded with the UNESCO Prize for Peace Education. A Guinness World Record holder for being the largest city school in terms of number of students enrolled. CMS education revolves around the twin poles of godliness and globalism through four pillars of education, namely universal values, excellence in all things, global understanding and service to humanity. It is no wonder that City Montessori School's Gomti Nagar First Campus has been awarded first prize for academic reputation at all India level by the Education World magazine in its India School Rankings of 2015. It is also awarded first prize for being the best co-ed school in Lucknow as well as in Uttar Pradesh. CMS founder Dr. Jagdish Gandhi has been motivating parents and generations of good and smart children through holding special prayer assemblies and divine education conferences. <laughs> Rasool, we have all gathered here to participate in an international mathematics convention entitled IYMC. Since we are all math students, so we wish to meet the most genius mathematical brains. Mm. Wow. Your wish is my command. Uh -huh. Dina, 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 Dina,
Open. Thank you. Yes, a loud, loud round of applause is all we need. And here I would just like to request our mascot for the 7th IYMC to come before us, Mr. Mathalit. We invite you up right before us. Please welcome him with a round of applause. Paraded here right up front is the team from Mirpur, Bangladesh. With a round of applause, please welcome the team Scholastica, Mirpur, Bangladesh. And I requested all young people in the audience. Coming up next is the next team from Bangladesh, St. Gregory's High School from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Four years ago, I started this school on 1st of July, 1959. The kind of education that is being given to the children is only material. But I realized the man has three realities of life. Man is a material being, man is a human being, man is a divine being. He needs a balanced education of all the three realities of life. Therefore. I started this school with a mission to impart a balanced education to the children. Mahatma Gandhi said, 
I will not follow the beaten track. I follow this. I will create my own path. So I have created my own path to bring about the change through education. Change the mindset of the children. शिक्षात्मक सांस्कृतिक कार्यक्रम एवं चिंतन हेतु विश्व एकता सत्संग में आप सभी सब परिवार सादर आमंत्रित हैं